It's not uncommon for individuals to contribute money to a particular politician's campaign or political party. But what happens when someone contributes a large sum of money to a candidate's campaign in exchange for political favors once in office? This is called quid pro quo corruption, or this for that corruption, which is illegal in the United States. The Supreme Court recognized this and upheld individual contribution limits to political candidates in the case of Buckley v. Vallejo. The court acknowledged that contributions to a political candidate are a form of free speech, however held that preventing any risk of corruption is sufficient governmental interest to justify limits on how much individuals could contribute. Simply put, if there's a risk of corruption, then Congress may regulate. The Supreme Court also ruled that independent expenditures, aka political spending made by individuals or organizations without coordination with any candidate, cannot be limited. Since these expenditures are independent of a political candidate, there is no risk of quid pro quo corruption, and without the risk of corruption, the government does not have sufficient interest to limit independent political spending. In Citizens United vs. the FEC, the Supreme Court extended the right to unlimited political spending to corporations and unions as long as they did not coordinate with a politician. Now add political action committees to this list and things start to get spicy. It's completely legal for someone to contribute to a PAC in exchange for the PAC saying what they want it to say, since no politicians are involved. Three months after Citizens, the DC Circuit Court of Appeals upheld this sentiment in its decision in the case of SpeechNow.org vs. the FEC. The court held that contributions to groups that only make independent expenditures cannot corrupt or create the appearance of corruption. As a result, individual contribution limits to expenditure-only organizations were removed, and you can actually see the subsequent increase in super PAC spending. But putting the spending aside, there's a logical fallacy here. Corruption can arise in this scenario despite what the court says. If someone goes to a political candidate and says I'll contribute to your super PAC if you do me a favor, and the candidate agrees, that transaction is clearly quid pro quo corruption because the candidate and donor are making an I scratch your back, you scratch my back deal despite the money going to a super PAC. This exact behavior was alleged against New Jersey Senator Robert Menendez in 2017. Although not proven, the Menendez case demonstrates that the circuit court's belief that contributions to a super PAC could not risk corruption was simply false. So if we are to truly follow Buckley v. Vallejo, the precedent set that the government has sufficient interest to place limits on contributions if the risk of corruption is present, then Congress can most definitely limit contributions to super PACs. Now there's something we can do about this. The DC court that made this decision in Speech Now v. the FEC does not have the final say in the matter. The Supreme Court does. If you share the belief that our democracy is worth fighting for, please share this video to spread awareness about this legal mistake and get this issue to the Supreme Court once and for all.